Here we are with an IEC 61004-6 test setup using a CDN test method. This is the Franconia CIT-1000 generator, which also has an amplifier built in. We'll look at the test setup real fast where we have our RF output of the, the powered signal from the amplifier. This goes into a 6 dB attenuator as per the standard. This is feeding into the Shoresbeck CDN we have here, which is a single phase 16 amp CDN. Uh, the EUT port is on this end and the power line on the auxiliary end here. We have the signal feeding back through the 150 ohm to 50 ohm adapters. And this is going back to the RF input port on the Franconia, which is essentially an RF power meter measuring the power of the system. We're gonna run a calibration of this before we can get to the tests. And to do that, we click on this button here. And so here we can see a few settings, such as impedance, you can select between 150 or 50 ohms. Voltage, you can pick between voltage or current, but we're gonna be doing a voltage test here with the CDN. We'll leave it at three volts on a logarithmic scale we're starting at 150 kilohertz and we'll be ending at 80 meg. And also we're gonna increase the step size just for this demo to 50% to speed things up. We're monitoring a few things down below. You can monitor a few more if you'd like. The list is here. So we're gonna hit play. And what we're measuring on these graphs here is our RF in power, which is on this port, our current frequency of the sweep, and our forward power measurement, which is coming from the internal coupler on the output of the amplifier. So there's also internal reverse power measurements you can see as well. And so right now we're running the sweep and this creates our calibration factors essentially. And so when we go and run our tests, it'll take into account this closed loop here. All right, so you can see our actual value. We just were at 80 megs. Now the test is finished. We're gonna rename our file here and we'll just call it Schwarz Beck CDN for now. And we'll hit save. And then we can go back. So now we'll move on to our test file. And this will be the IEC 61004 6 test. And we'll, we'll leave the current setup to see what the results look like of running a test after our calibration file has been uploaded in. So on this screen, we have similar settings. You know, we can pick between our voltage and current waveforms. We can say if we're using a current probe, if we want to regulate by the power measurement on the internal forward power coupler. Um, also, we see, you know, voltage range or start stop frequencies matching. Our dwell time is at two seconds, but we'll notice up here, we see our test time is currently at 34 minutes and we have a little yellow warning light. This is measuring or looking at the calibration factor telling us that settings do not match. And I believe this is the one setting is the step increase percentage. So we change it to 50% and the warning light goes away. And the last thing for IEC 61004-6 is doing 80% AM modulation, which can be generated internally. You can also use an external generator if you'd like. So I think our settings look good. I'm gonna close this just so we can see the actuals. And we'll hit run, and we're, we got the same graph showing. And let's see what uh, what results we get.
So you can see currently the, the RFN and the forward power seem to be matching up much more than they did previously on the calibration because the factors are now being included. And so yeah, this is when we changed the step size, it went from 34 minutes to now 54 seconds. So, you know, real tests, you're gonna be dwelling and stepping at a much slower rate. And it's always a good idea to reference the IC61000 4-6 standard. And so once the test is complete, same same thing as with the the coupler. If you want to name your file, you can save it. Okay. And then you can use it for test reports later. And here's an example of one of the test reports that comes from the software. So you can see this is a IEC 61004 dash six tests using a uh, EM clamp with the modulation. And we have our RFN power, reverse power, and forward power graphs automatically put on here.